All right, guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to jump into Fly using the console from our desktop and logging through a tunnel into Fly. I'm going to show you how to set up the domain name. So we're going to point our domain name, which we've purchased from Namecheap into AWS Route 53. And then we're going to set up Fly certificates so that all the endpoints of HTTPS are secured. And we're going to do a CNAME redirect. You can actually end up with your website. All right, let's jump in. So the first thing when setting up your custom domain is we need to have a purchased one of these. So I like to use Namecheap, no affiliation. I just find them really easy, I used a few before. But the key thing that we need to be able to do here is set up this custom DNS. So we need to be able to point to our domain name. So we don't have these details just yet and we're gonna set those up in AWS. So you can, there's a whole, there's a hundred ways to do these, but I do like to do it this way, okay? So because we are hosting a few things in AWS already, what we do here is we create a hosted zone. Okay, so to do that, we just hit the create hosted zone button. And now this is where we add the domain name. So the domain name for this is luxurystays.guide. So chuck that in there, get rid of that extra space. Don't need a description, it's a public hosted zone and we just hit create hosted zone. Okay, so it'll take a second. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna jump into this name server here and see these values here, we're gonna grab them, all right? So we're gonna just copy these values across and we're gonna put them into our domain name here. So I'm gonna just grab them, paste them in. And there's four of them. Chuck that in there, hit save here. And then when, once that's updated, we should see it working. Takes a second. All right, name server's updated. Could take up to 48 hours. Now, I've never seen that. It could be, so if it doesn't work straight away, that's the reason. So the cool thing about you, I like like why I like to use uh, Route 53, it's just, I feel like it's very simple to manage these things. It's very easy to add records and create records, which we'll need to do now when we are setting these things up, right? So next part, so we've now pointing that domain name. So when someone types that in, it's gonna point to this server, okay? Now, the next piece of the puzzle is we need to go into fly IO, Go into the dashboard, find our app, which is this one. And now we are going to have a look here at the certificates. So we haven't created any certificates yet. So we need to create an SSL certificate for our custom domain name so that it's all secure. So what we do here is we hit add certificate. You can also do this in the command line, but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go all, it's just the simplest, because you could go www, but then the certificate's only valid for that one subdomain, or you could do the root domain. I like to do the all, and then what we're gonna do here is, let me just swap these two tabs around, actually. We're gonna grab this domain, and we're gonna chuck it in there. So all the subdomains of this, luxury status guide, all right? So I'm gonna hit create certificate. Now that's gonna ask us to do a few things, right? So we need to, verify the domain ownership firstly. So we're gonna grab here, so we're gonna create a new CNAME record. So it's gonna be Acme Challenge. So we're gonna grab that, jump back into uh, Route 53. We're gonna go create record, pop that in there. It's a CNAME and a CNAME is gonna redirect to this. And that's basically just gonna allow it to do a bit validation and make sure that we actually own that domain. So we hit create records on that. Now, <clears throat> It wants us to point our A name and our triple, our quadruple A name here. So this is for IPv4 and IPv6. So let's grab, we'll do set this up now. So we'll go into here, we'll go into create records. We're gonna do two at a time now. So with the A record here, we're gonna grab this, chuck it in there. And then we're gonna add another record, which is the quadruple A. And we're gonna grab this. Chuck that on there, hit create records. Okay. Now that's all set up like that. Just see the C name. Doesn't have anything there. So now what we need to do is we need to, cause we've now set up these names. We can hit check again and let it see. So it still hasn't propagated the changes. It can take a few minutes. So we have to probably just wait for that. So it's looking there. And we'll just give it a little bit of time. 
So yeah, it can take time. And then you'll see these, this become verified and these things will go green after that. Okay, so while we wait for that, what we're gonna do here, so you can see this host name is over here, HTTPS, this is the domain name that we've got at the moment. So it's gonna take a time, bit of time to load because the machine's sleeping, but once it does load and it's awake, ready to go, we can see this is our domain name on fly. Okay, so what we can do here is, this is our awesome production website. But what we can do now is inside of our hosted zone, um, we can create a new record inside of our hosted zone, www, and then we're gonna point that to luxurystays.fly.dev and it's a C name, okay? So we're gonna create that record. Always leave this TTL quite low so that it's quick to refresh. The longer you leave it, it'll cache it for longer. All right, so we've got that point there, we've got the, that waiting and we've done all these other A records here. So let's just jump back into certificates, it's still not done. All right, so we've done the that name pointing there for the C name. And let's just see www.luxurystays.guide. No, that hasn't, that's still, still, so Namecheap hasn't actually updated yet. So that's probably gonna be our, our problem. It's gonna be a while before Namecheap actually propagates those changes across. All right. But anyway, that, that is basically what we need to get set up. So we need the uh, certificate or the SSL certificate here. We need to add in the root 53 hosted zone so that we can point our Namecheap to these records here. And then we need our A and our quadruple A's. And then we've got our C name for the certificate validation. And then the www pointing to the Fly website. Okay. And that's pretty much all we need there. We can set up a redirect as well. But we'll see how Fly handles this. If it handles it all happy days, then we don't have to do anything. So it could be something for a little bit later on. But in the meantime, what I wanted to show you guys was how to log in using Rails console into the actual fly instance so we can add off our admin user so we can actually start adding data to the website. So let's do that. So fly has some cool documentation on all the different things you can do. So you can run Rails console, you can run bin bash and get into the root. So let's explore how these things work. So I'll open up a new tab here and we will first of first things first, let's run this interactive shell. So let's just jump into the instance. Now this is cool because you can, it's very simple to do in a lot of other tools, it's quite hard. This sets up a tunnel for us. If we now run list, we're in the Rails directory, we can actually see all our app code that was created. It's like we're in the Docker image basically. So we can see everything that's in here. So we can go into CD app and then we can see everything we need to see, right? So that's really cool. But if we go back, let's jump back into the root there. So you have full file access, that's cool. So you can see, you know, if you're like, what's going on and you want to double check a file or something, you can do that. But what we're interested in is running bundle exec rail C, right? So we're inside the machine and we just run that. Now that's one way. So now we're in prod, so we can go use it. Let's just see. Oh, it's not letting me type. That's annoying, something's broken. All right, so our machine died, which is lame. <laughs> not really, but we can see what's going on here no logs so let's have a look it's the problem the one problem with being on a free tier you don't really get access i think it just killed it because of inactivity so let's just jump back in let's this time so we'll, what we can do here is we can actually jump straight in to um console right so we want to jump straight into the rails console so just jump into there, it's gonna run that command. Create the tunnel, all right. User dot, or let's go user dot size, uh, all. Sorry, not user dot size, user dot count. So we've got zero users. So we need to actually set those users up now. So we've got, if you go into luxury stays, there's our logs, let's open it up here. Luxury stays website, and then remember we've got this hidden sign-in page, top secret. There's no users here. So we need to actually set up our first admin user so we can jump in. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna just check our role.all. So we've got two roles, right? So we've got the admin role. So that's what we wanna create. We wanna create a new user with that. 
And then we're gonna go and create the user. So I'm just busy checking what user details I used. So this will have to be a user with an, a real email. So I'm gonna go user.create and then I'm gonna go name and then email. So it's gonna be in email.com. You'll, this will need be, you will need to use a real other one, otherwise it won't work. And then we're gonna go password and then password confirmation. And then we also want to set the role. So we're gonna go role ID and we can see here we've got a role ID of one, okay? So I'm just gonna fill that in, hit enter. You do the same and let me back here. All right, so hit enter and then we're gonna go use it at all. Just make sure it's all committed. There we go. So it's all ready to go. So we can now log in. All right, so hit login and here we go. We've got the dashboard now. All right, so we should be able to start adding places and listings. So the whole app should be working now. So let's go into dev and do the same thing. Sign in, uh, this was ken at email.com. All right, jump in some places. All right, so let's add Kayama. Let's see if we can add a place. See this UI, <laughs> obviously not ready for production just yet. We probably need some blank states and stuff like that, but let's see. So we don't have regions either yet. And we don't, and we've got some place types. So we need to create regions actually before we can even do that. So that's, so I thought we had some of this set up. So if we go DB seeds, it did have regions here. So I'm wondering, we probably haven't run the seed command. So we can do that. So now this is a perfect example of where you need to be able to jump into our server. So let's go into the interactive shell again, exit out of this console, run that jumping in. Now what we can do is we can go bundle exec rails db seed. Let's just see what's going on. There we go. Seeding roles. So we have seeded roles, states, regions, place types. Let's have a look. For some reason, this guy isn't working. So let's have a look at what's going on. So regions geostate got geostate. Let's see, have we made a mistake here? A-U-N-S-W. There we go, guys. See, there's a little error in the code. So, we're looking for N-S-W-A-U, but it should really be A-U. It's either A-U-N. Which way have we gone? It looks like we're running this way. So, there's a mistake in the code. That's always fun. <laughs> and you can even see it here in dev. It's actually seeded twice. So we've got AU NSW and then NSW AU. But we're looking up when we do regions, we're looking AU NSW. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to keep this naming convention. So it goes country thing and it works backwards. So NSW AU is correct, we're going to say. And then we're going to chuck that there. And then that'll find the state and then that'll all work, right? So let's go here and make sure we commit that, fix that seed. But what we're gonna do here is we can just jump back, we can just exit out of this guy and we're gonna go um, fly deploy, right? So we're gonna let that do its thing. It'll deploy the new code and then we can keep moving. So let's jump in again. Let's go here. And then we're gonna go Bundle, exec, rails, db seed. Bundle, exec, rails, c. And then we're going to go geo region dot all. There we go. Got some regions. Got some regions. All right, we're on. So we're going to go ta town. It's going to be Kayama. And for now, we don't have a description. Save, We're editing, We've got a town in the South Coast. Awesome, so now we can add stuff. So that's all I wanted to do today was just quickly show you how to 
redirect the domain name. Unfortunately, we have to wait, which is a bit lame, but let's go have a quick look at the certificates. There we go. Awesome. While we're doing that, it worked. So you can now see we've got a verified here. These certificates are pointing here. Let's see if our www.luxurystays.guide works yet. There we go. Awesome. So we just needed to wait a little bit. So there we go. So what we've done today is we've set up the C name. We've redirected the domain name to Route 53 or Route 53, however you want to pronounce it. We've then set up the certificate and we've done the validation for that. We've set up the C name for the www to redirect to fly. And we are now luxurystays.guide online. And we've also gone into and worked with the fly uh, commands to jump in, create a tunnel and do the rail C on there. And we did a quick fix on the seed and we're in business. So we can now actually keep um, plotting along, actually add real data to this website. So you can start seeing it getting built out, which is really cool. And that's it. So I'll catch you guys on the next one.